Alrighty guys, what is up? Welcome back to another episode of PC Building Sim Simulator with Lone Debater 7. And today we're going to be picking up where we left off. We're at level 4 with about 3 stars in reputation, $800 in the bank of Rooney. And we're going to see if we can't get a little bit farther in the game today. Uh, before we do that, let me actually go into the settings. We are going to turn on the music. Just so there's a little something in the background for you. Um, okay, cool. Let's see. So last time we finished all the jogs that we had because there's no computers out here. Um, but we did not order any parts or accept any of these jobs. So let's go ahead and go through these real quick. So broke his PC the other day. None of the fans are working. Neither is the hard drive. Weird, right? Uh, he wants new parts and I need a power supply and a hard disk drive. Okay, cool. I can do that. Uh, what's the budget? 140? What size uh, hard drive did he have? A 500 and a 350. So let's go to a power supply. And you know what? We're going to buy him a 400. And then on the storage... Actually, we're going to up that to a 600 because we've got the budget for it. I think. Right? Am I doing math right? Uh, 55 plus... 60 is 110. We got 140. I think this is actually spot on. So we'll do that. Perfect. Um, diagnose and fix. That's easy enough. Cool. Okay, that's easy enough. Not a big deal. We'll do that. Uh, this one, what does he want? Remove viruses. Okay, cool. Easy enough. This guy wants 16 gigs of RAM. And he wants new stuff. And he needs a virus removal. Okay, cool. What kind of RAM you got, son? Garbage RAM. No, JK. That RAM is probably fine. Uh, let's buy different RAM, though. But it, I, I was looking at that primarily to see what color it is. So we could try to matchy-match it for him. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we, I mean, it's technically... It, yeah. So, like, I can go up to $100 on each module... Um, I'd like to to get, like, these, maybe. Maybe we'll get them 26s. Yeah, we'll just do that. 8 gigabytes, we need two of them. It's in transit. Okay, easy enough. And then this one is an upgrade mission, so it needs to be able to play this game. So we'll open up Will It Run? We'll open the game, which is Farming Simulator, and it needs to do the minimum spec. Alright, what's this dude got? So, RAM, he's got 2 gigs of RAM. So, we need to upgrade his RAM, alright. And he only has 80 bucks for this, so he has a 1050 and an i5. Uh, the graphics card sh should be good enough, I think. And the i5 should be good enough, too. Yeah. Alright, so we just need to buy a stick of RAM for him. Um, and we've got, what, 80 bucks? Alright, cool. We'll just buy three of those, then. Cool. Alright, so before we close out of this, we're going to go next day. We're going to buy our parts. So three sticks of 8 gigabyte RAM, a Power King 600 watt supply, and a terabyte Seagate hard drive, cha-chinger... Turn off the lights, and we'll go end the day and get to the next one. But yeah, um, super enjoying this series. Uh, I hope you guys are as well. Take this time if, if you would, and be sure to subscribe if you have not done so yet, as we do upgrade, upload content regularly. Um, so yeah, uh, there, there will be something for you to watch. And we do have a bunch of videos up already, as is. Uh, so feel free to browse those, whatever. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start with this one. It's just a virus removal. I don't know why I took the side panel off, if I'm honest. That was kind of dumb, because now, uh, literally, I'm just going to be putting this back on. Okay. Add remove virus scanner. I don't think this guy wanted anything fancy. We'll double check on the email real quick. Uh, but the other thing I wanted to mention real quick. So, I am utilizing a new microphone and, like, sound setup at, uh, for recording. So, if my like microphone or audio levels seem a little bit weird, please let me know down in the comments below so I can adjust them.
because I, yeah, at this point, this first, first, like, thing I've uh, recorded with this new microphone and everything, so I'm kind of curious to see if it's, you know, if I got it tuned right the first time without, you know, messing around with it too much or what, but let's see, so this was, uh, Blake, okay, this boy, he did not want anything else just to remove all, okay, cool, easy enough, Diagnose will take a minute. Let's do the fixed one. That one's pretty straightforward. Uh, power supply and hard disk drive. Easy enough. Easy enough. Now we do we take out the back mount for the PSU. And then we need to remove all the cables that are attached to the PSU. So basically everything. Not quite everything, but pretty close. Slide that bad mama in. We need to take off this panel to get access to the hard drive. Which we're going to take out the old one and put in a new hard drive. We need to install the USB as well to install the operating system. Uh, can I not? Why can't I open that? Cool. Install that one. Closey close. And then we just need to cable everything up which we're already set to the default black, which is great because that's the color of all the other cables in the case at this point. So, And that's what they were when we started, so we'll just leave it easy enough. Even though we have, you know, colored options that we could utilize here, they didn't ask for it, so we're not gonna... might make them upset. So there we go, we'll turn that on. It's gotta put in the OS, which takes a little bit of time, then it restarts. And we're going to have to put on the virus scanner. Or, well, we shouldn't have to use a virus scanner if we replace the hard drive, but... Yeah, there we go. So we get that. Uh, what part of the case is incomplete? Uh, oh, PSU mount. That's kind of important. It's funny we were able to pick that up without the PSU, you know, like, sliding out. But whatever. Okay. Better, better. Done. Uh, fix needed. Done. Cool. And then this one's the RAM. So he's getting two sticker And we're going to do a virus removal for him. Is what he said. I remember the email, so yeah. But first, I'm going to take out and open the pins for channels 1 and 3. And go in. We're going to take one of our guys. We're going to take two of our guys. And bam, bam. Turn it on. Put it on the side. Look at us. Super fun. Install the scanner. Restart. Run it. Clean the files, put it in the delivery area, and we should be good to go. Yes, we are ready to restart now. Oh, uh, no. This game's great. Like, it really is. Um, these virus removal missions are boring as shit, I will be honest. Like, I, I dislike these. But the, uh, like, hardware install part, that part's fun sometimes. And, like, building the PCs is, is, is a good end as well. So that one's done. This is the last one. He needs an upgrade on... The RAM for Farming Simulator. That's right. I remember. I remember. Uh, we'll also clean out the dust while we're in here. Might as well, right? I haven't sold any of this used RAM. I'll go through and do it in a minute. But we'll grab the compressed air, turn it on. And I don't recall if he said he needed virus removal or not. I'll take a look at his desktop and kind of see. Finish cleaning the case first. Cool. Case done. PC parts put on the panel. Uh, yeah, he 
might benefit from one, so. He's gonna get it anyway. Hopefully that will boost our rating. Sometimes doing this like extra stuff does boost your rating. So as you can see, we're starting to chip into our fourth star on our review rating. Uh, we could boot up Bongle and take a look and see what people are actually saying on their comments and such, but I'm not too worried about that, if I'm honest. It's not a big deal. Because once we start building computers and stuff like that, those missions really boost your rating a lot. Run it. Oh, all right. No files. Good for you. But you're protected now, so not a bad thing in my mind, but whatever. So collected, done. Collected, done. And then diagnose and fix. So let's just try and turn it on. So no power is what it looks like. No CPU found is what it's saying. So let's try that. Yep, broken Ryzen 5 quad 15X. So we'll buy one of those. I mean, yeah, right at, right at the budget. <laughs> Lol. All right, we'll do same day. Forget about it. I want to get this one off my bench. That's what is what I want to do. Uh, we'll sell the broken one so it's out of our inventory. And we'll go through and sell all the used stuff probably at the end of the episode here. Um, just to see how much money we made off the parts. Because I am kind of curious. I haven't ever really tracked it before. And I know that it does add up, especially if you're utilizing, like, or doing graphics card upgrades or processor upgrades and that kind of stuff but we'll also connect these fans because for whatever reason they're not connected we'll try that that fixes his deal yep it did cool put on the panel easy enough and we'll get paid back for those parts minus the shipping so we only made 50 bucks for the repair but it's pretty easy repair all right let's get rid of these part things so this guy needs an upgrade upgrade the cpu and ram so he's got a b250 i believe that is amd we'll double check though so actually it is not amd it is lga 1150 cabby lake so we need uh not cpu cooling processors socket i think i think these will fit yeah it looks like they do he has a pentium in there yeah, and that's Skylake, okay. So he wants 16 RAM and that, and he's got silver RAM in there already. Uh, 400 bucks, so... That's 160. And then on the processors, we can... Two would be three, that'd be 410, so that's too much. I could get him an i7, though, 6700, just not the K edition, but whatever. Yeah, because that's three to five working days. We're going to set that to next day, but we'll accept that. That's fine. We got all the parts in the cart now. Uh, let's take a look at this. Uh, so power supply is what he's thinking, so replace power supply. Easy enough. Cooler Master 500 Bronze. Okay. Add to cart. I mean, he's giving us a $100 budget, though. So, like... I mean, I don't have a lot of... Like, that is kind of the best power supply I can... Or, well, I guess I could get him a, a 55. But there's no reason we'll save the rest of the budget for other stuff, I guess. We already accepted. Cool. This one, he wants a new hard drive. Terabyte. Okay. Cool. Go to the cart. Ordered. Alrighty, cool. Easy enough. We'll go over, end the day. And then I think what we'll do, I'm not going to collect any of the parts or, or start any of the jobs yet. We'll save that for next episode. Uh, so if you're interested in seeing how we do these repairs and our parts in here and all that goodness, come be sure to tune in in the next episode. Uh, should be up in a couple days or something like that from whenever this one goes out. Uh, but let's take a look at our inventory and see how much money we can make selling the parts that are used in here. So we're sitting at $923, so we don't have any processors, cooling, motherboard. We do have some RAM, though. So we started at 923 
We're gonna go through and sell all the used stuff. Because, no, I mean, people get pissed if you put used parts in their machine. So, okay, we just had the RAM. So, all right, that was underwhelming. To say the least, we got like $73 selling the RAM. But if you let it build up like that, you can get more. That was just RAM. Like, imagine if we had a couple graphics cards or a couple processors or something that aren't broken, that are just used. Um, they resell for like 50, 60 a piece. So you can stack a few hundred dollars relatively quickly and might even be able to afford some of the parts to build your own second rig. So like you can upgrade this computer down here. So like if I right click, I can pull this guy up and put him on the bench and put in new graphics cards, motherboards, like everything in here. Because this is a pretty basic rig, but we don't need to do that. We'll maybe cover that in a future episode. Be sure to let me know what you think we should upgrade our base desktop to in the game um, in the comments below. And we'll take a look and see if we can't get the parts put together. Um, but guys, I think we're going to wrap it up here for today. If you enjoyed the episode, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe as always. And until next time, this has been Lone Debater 7, and we will see ya.